Oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, can I check one more thing? Do I have time? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, I don't have time. Run! No, run, 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 you fool! Hello? <laughs> Hello, friend! Woo! Hello, everybody. My name is Chris, aka Spot to Chris, and comrade, we play Beholder. Um, we are gonna be working for the state, turning folk in, making sure that they're not going against us. Oh, here we go. We got some um, voiceover. I don't want to interrupt, even though that's all I've done. You must arrive there immediately and start working. I'm arriving. I'm arriving. I'll get there. Oof. Uh, cracking the back a little bit. Getting ready to... Uh, getting ready to turn in some enemies of the state. Now, this is the United States, right? <laughs> this is what we're doing? Oh, man. Bad joke, probably. Probably hits too close to home. Um, look, freshish face, freshish, is that a word? I trimmed that beard hardcore, it was down to like, here, and now it's all the way back up to the chin. And now I remember how round my face is and that my head is shaped like the yellow peanut, which sucks, but whatever, at least I got a nutty center and I'm delicious. And I'm also deadly for those with a peanut allergy, so that's what it is. This game, Beholder, is basically we are going to be the uh, manager of an apartment complex. Um, we have a family. Um, we're managing the complex, and we're spying on those within. Um, I've been wanting to play this game for so long. I believe I also have... I think I also have a sequel to it. That's the old old manager getting pulled out. This is a very, like, um, German, Russian-ish kind of thing. Um, like, back in the days of, like, um, uh, Gestapo kind of thing, um, like, secret police, um, where they're using all these crazy tactics on each other, and, um, also, um, like, let's say the Red Scare... Um, when everyone was afraid of communism, all that good stuff. Like, everyone in America is still very afraid of communism. It's like... It's not scary. Like, just don't... Don't practice communism, and you're fine. Um, anyway... Uh, so... It, it's kind of up to us, as far as I know, whether we are going to be helping the state, or if we're going to go against the state. I don't 100% know. Okay, this is our boss, Bruno. Okay, <laughs> so he's uh, from Peanuts. Did you ever watch those Charlie Brown cartoons? That's this guy. Um, On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new position. What's going on? We're barely driving past out of the house. It's no concern to you. Yeah, sure, as you wish. Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest tasks. If a person occupying an abortion position can't cope with a simple task, there's only one outcome. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenants do is your business. And the word everything means... The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow their every step and document any suspicious activity. That is, if you want to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. If you're going to be the perfect beholder, document hobbies, interests, and even conversations. How can I do this? Observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start at the beginning. Have you ever managed an apartment building before, Carl? Do you need my help? Nah. I don't need any help. I'm too smart. Here's a journal that's located on the right side of the screen. Um, okay, so that's these guys. 
Let's come back to surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in your house to simplify your work. According to our documentation, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, which is to the right of this room. Um, oh, okay, so I can scroll. Uh, search the desk, find the cameras. So, this, that's searching. I love his little trot. Doop, 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 doop. Cool. Those are cameras! With a pause button. It's interesting. Okay. Um, can I only have... Okay, so I can so I can go to spots. Oh, and double clicking makes him run. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Brave, you found the cameras. Install them in the dining hall. Follow me. All right, let's follow him. Where you go? The dining hall. What are these smoke detectors? Why did I go back there? No. <laughs> Set up a surveillance camera. This is important. You'll have to over and over, otherwise you'll never learn what your tennis do. I don't want to. Yeah, of course I want to. Um. So do I need to? Oh, I can't click on those. Oh. Is that how you do it? Hey, okay, okay. So you can just click on it and then we can just install it that way. Noise. Oh, what's this doing? Okay, this is where my tasks go. Talk with my boss. What is this? Profile. Okay, so there's a few people already. Oh, this is a shady looking dude. What is this guy? A slippery snake of a guy. The slippery snake. Government directives. So these are like laws as of the year 1st, September 1984. So it's 84. I haven't even been born yet, folks. It is illegal to harbor criminals or hide their actions. Comrade. I don't know what this is. Bills. Ooh, I don't want to pay bills. I don't know what this is about. Talk to him. You're doing fine. Here's your first reward. Oh, I got that much. I got 300 bucks for putting in some cameras. All right. Spend your money on things that you need. You'll find them at the shop. You'll receive surveillance cameras as you earn reputation points. Reputation points show you're standing with the public. You'll receive them for completing tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade the people around you to do what you want them to do. So where's the, is this the store? That's just inventory. That doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't I just click here to open my inventory? I don't get it. Um, Palmer, you can call me anytime from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer the phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people and completing the orders of the ministry is our bread and butter. Lots of butter. It's also our water and air. Here's the main thing. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't handle things. We're hoping you'll do better. Just tell me how. First of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence. The police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work well. The ministry can turn a blind eye to forgery and blackmail if they help you achieve your goal. So I can blackmail some folks. Cool. Okay. Or forgery. Uh, sure. I like your enthusiasm, but be slow to call our department. You can always ask our wise tutor for advice. Who's our tutor? One last instruction. The key I have gave you opens every blah, blah, blah. I fumbled that sentence up. It opens every door in the building. We got it. Make sure your tenants leave their apartment before you enter it. Many citizens still think their private life is their own business. 
Let it be so. Now get to work. Little boss ass there for get to work. So this is my fam. This is the fam jam. Um, is there a way to see more of what's going on? What do I do now? Call the ministry. Okay, so that's what I gotta do. New directive. Directive number 6038. The production of political propaganda is prohibited, comrade. Let's call the ministry. Hurry your butt up. Calling. Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. Hello, Carl. Man, he got there real quick. You've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? Let's do it. Give me a task. Set me up. Establish surveillance in apartment two. Jacob Manischek lives there. You can always buy the cameras you need at the state shop. Only to return his apartment when they're not home and be careful. Okay, Jacob Manischek, apartment two. We need to search the apartment, we need to install a camera, and we need to gather data. Data. How do we... Oh, we can move around. Ooh, some of these apartments ain't looking so hot. So how do we get up there? Oh, who's this boy? Oops, huh? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> he just like burst through the door. Hello, sir! Hey! What do you want from the archivist? Let's get acquainted. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new building uh, manager. Manager of the building. My dyslexia kicked in there for a second. Sorry. Mark Rannick is a respected archivist. I can't read anything. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me, you little shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rosa works in the cafeteria. It's literally right next to you. Always in the kitchen where she belongs. She lo What did I just get? Points for the Okay. She loves making buns and cakes so much she does it for a living. I wish she didn't smell like cabbage. <laughs> yeah, dude. Gross. <coughs> um, okay. So, oh, oh, I can zoom out. Hey, another friend. Where are you going? Hey! Hello! Hello! Hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Scheimer. You'll be managed, you'll be, be, you manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager had already turned it into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Uh, let's ask about the apartment. Did the house belong to you? That's right. It used to belong to my family. I want you to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children, but it was converted into a residence hall instead. This isn't so bad. You haven't seen the living quarters on level D. You're right. Our situation could be worse. At least we're free. One can play chess at liberty. This is expensive. Why is this red? Why am I getting points? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Likes to cook. Oh, so that counts as me gathering data on these people. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. All right. So I need to... Do I just click to get up here? I guess so. I need to spy on apartment two. Um, okay, so I can either unlock, which I don't want to do if he's home. I don't know what the eye is for, or I can knock. Maybe this is like looking through a peephole? Yeah, it is. Well, I don't see anybody there. Okay, let's just, uh... Who's that? Oh, I think that's my kid. Let's just go in. Okay. I guess let's just search stuff and... 
What's this? Deck of cards and dice looks to gamble. Huh? I was wondering because they that red text. Every time I see red text, it typically looks like it's like a thing. Oh, sh oh okay. Scared me for a minute. New government directive received. What now? Um, directive number 6039. All apples must be destroyed. It is illegal to store or consume them, comrade. Comrade Carl. So no apples are allowed. That is weird. Uh, okay, I don't have any cameras. I don't know how to get cameras. Oh, I already finished searching apartment two. Ooh. Well, let's just gather all the info we can, I guess. Gather data, search, and now I need cameras, but I don't know how to get camera. Nothing in his armchairs. Um, anything else in here? Nope. Nope, that's it. Oh, now we can buy stuff. Ooh. Okay, that's what I put down the stairs. Oh, okay. So you can buy, like, good stuff, or... I mean, why don't we just... Let's just go for broke. Let's buy the good one and put that in there. Like, why not, right? Um, so can we... Oh, please don't tell me you're gonna come in here. Who's that lady? Oh, more people that I haven't met yet. Are they going... They're all going down here, okay. I need to meet these people. Hey! Good afternoon! Hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl, the new building manager. My name is Rosa Rennick. It's nice to meet you, young man. You must have met my naughty husband. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I wish I would never have uh, heard that from you. We have a son, too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. He lives in the... I want to know about the husband. Why is he naughty? Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. Okay, so he fishes. Let's ask about the son. Our dear boy has become a boss. Haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. I'm done talking with you. Let me know if you have any problems, aside from your naughty husband. Okay, this is the other girl, uh, other guy's wife. Oh, there's dude. There's creep dude. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you again. No, I want to talk to this lady. Maria Scheimer. Hello. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. Can I manage your building? It's nice to meet you. I'm Maria Scheimer. Did you bring your family here? We just moved in. It would be nice to meet you. I'm, which is what I'm doing right now. It's weird that I said it would be nice to meet you when I'm currently in the middle of meeting you. Yourself. Um, it's nice to <laughs> Okay. Awkward. Um, what do I do next? Well, it just says to call the ministry, so let's, let's go do that. Run! Run! Carl! Carl von home. Reference, dial the number in conversation. Dial the number? Oh, report a task, okay. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your first task was a success. You are rewarded. $500 and 50 reputation points. According to our sources, Jacob Manishek is violating state directives. Spy on him using the surveillance cameras. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gather to your report. I don't know how to make a report. New message received. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is that this? 
Um, well, I already know that. Oh, do you? Oh! Oh, what is this? Is he shooting up? He's shooting up. Dang, that was quick. That didn't take long at all. Okay, uh, add to my report, but how do I, how do I report? Then report it. Do I just call? I can't dial the number. Reference? What would you like to know? Um... Writing reports. Click on the work desk and then choose the log option. Choose the form in the new window. Fill in the data on the tenant you are filing. Send reports to the Ministry of Order, they will be checked. If the form is filled in correctly and the evidence is valid, the tenant will be punished and you will be rewarded. If the form isn't filled in correctly or the evidence is valid, you'll be fined. Good enough for me. So I said use the desk. Oh, it must be this. Uh, prof blackmail, profile, or report. Well, what does profile do? Wait, does this earn me money? Why wouldn't I do this instead? Why wouldn't I do that? I wanna do that. Um, he's in apartment two, so Jacob Manischek. Apartment two, males lives alone. Is his thing slippery snake? Oh, unemployed. Uh, direct collected materials. Oh, that doesn't work. Ah, 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 oh! Am I getting paid? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I got paid. I think, yes, I, look at all that money. Dang. I need to profile everybody in this place. I'm gonna profile my own family. I'm gonna profile everybody. All right, let's write a report. Um, apartment two. Violated direct, oh, 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 what did he violate? Um, oh, this is a new directive. Um, directive number 6040. The production of drugs is prohibited, comrade. Uh, 6040 from September 2nd, 1984. Drag evidence. Uh, that's this thing, right? Did it. Uh oh, what's that music? Oh, what are they gonna do? Oh, snap. Oh, they're just beating him. Dang. <laughs> oh, no. Shouldn't be making drugs and shooting it up, buddy. Oh, it's bad. Okay, let's... Sh we have mail. Let's just check this. Um, Daily News. Death by needle. The son of the miners' trade union leader was found unconscious after criminals reportedly pumped him full of drugs. He's been treated and rehabilitated to the hospital. The Ministry of Order advises citizens to be alert and interfere with any attempts to manufacture and spread drugs. Remember, your child could be next. The Voice of Truth. Hang on. What is this? Um... Drugs are a huge problem in our society. We should have started dealing with them a long time ago, not wait for a VIP to get in trouble. By the way, this isn't the first time the well-known son has been at the center of a scandal. Was he really a victim? Is that significant at all? So it's like a... Um, a resistance, like, newsletter going along with the newspaper. Interesting. I wonder if that's like what I end up doing. Like, do I become part of that resistance? Like, I feel kind of bad because, like, I'm obviously contributing to an oppressive society here. And they're. <laughs> this is bad. They're just beating this guy. Uh, it's never okay to beat somebody for drugs. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. Repair apartment two and find a tenant. Oh, we have another letter. 
Daily news, dead words. The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writings describe obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes the notion of a society without government, in which the freedom of personal choice exists, is dangerous and should be destroyed in all its forms. Okay. The fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas in mass proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. We should encourage interest in the great thinkers of the past if we want to progress, 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 and initiate a dialogue between the people and the state. Philosophy is nonsense. Interesting. Okay, so that is done. Um, so repair this. This cost me 500 bucks, which sucks. Okay. And then find a tenant. Do I just click on it again? Oh, move in. Alo Aloysius Alois Aloysius Spock. A famous cardio surgeon looking for a long time rental. Guaranteed to be a decent tenant, or Jones Papanetto, Cole Bargebosen. We'll rent a uh, cuddy for a couple weeks. No, we wouldn't we want the long the long term tenant? Call the ministry and report the completion of your task. Okay, easy peasy. Well, this game's pretty easy so far. Like it's enjoyable. I'm having fun. I like there's there's kind of a fun humor and and I like the style to it, but so far this is super easy. Now the number. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account: one thousand dollars and two hundred fifty reputation. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. I don't remember that, but okay. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Even if you're dying, do you understand? Yes. You got rid of the violator, now survey your tenant's opinions on Shimer. Hmm. Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work. Shimer. Well, I want to document anybody, any everyone anyway, so who's this guy? Oh, that's the new guy. All right. Um, wait a minute. Oh, I also have a thing to talk to my wife. New government directive. Wow, these come fast. Uh, directive 6042. Singing in front of the Ministry of Order is prohibited, comrade. What do you want? Anna? Anna? Una? What, Carl? Jeez. Um, talk about work. Domestic problems. Yeah, what problem? I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan, because I'm too saucy. I searched every nook and cranny, and I have no idea where it is. Maybe somebody stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan? Don't even think of this, you idiot! You must have left it in our old house. If you say so, can you ask the tenants about the saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compote for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. Who the hell is Martha? Um, so I need to do some more surveillance and stuff. Can I buy, uh, so, hmm, hmm, let's see what this guy's up to. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. They'll take a peek in here. Oh, he went to sleep. He sleeps. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. They're sleeping. Well, dang. How am I supposed to do anything when everybody's in their apartment? Huh. Um, I guess maybe I could try to wake people up. I don't know. I don't know how else to, uh, move things along. Oh, look how many, uh, 
There's so many places for me to hide cameras in that room. That's a huge apartment. Hello. Good afternoon. Um, let's ask about the saucepan first. Um, my throat kind of hurts, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna not do as many vocalizations. We'll still do some every once in a while. She does not have a saucepan. Um, okay, let's ask about Klaus Scheimer. I want to speak to you about Klaus Scheimer. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. He helped me to acquire a nice bottle of Xeris. I don't know what that is. He's an expert in wine. Uh-huh. An expert in wine. Got it. Let's knock on this door. <gasps> They're both coming. All right, all right. That helps, that helps. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, let's ask about the saucepan. Do you have a saucepan suitable for making a compote? You'd better talk to my wife, Maria. I don't know anything about household issues or dishware. I have to work in a tobacco shop now. The ceilings are so low I have to tilt my head. I used to work as a senior economist. Those days are long gone. I don't care. Oh, I can talk to him about this. Clouds are piling up. I'll probably be accused of selling anti-government tobacco. Are you mixed up with something? It's all about the apartment. I refused to give them up and was accused of horrible things. Interesting. All the best, Carl. Can I talk to your wife? Uh, I don't want to go in there if that's not going to... Who is this mustachioed friend? Who is this? Lad with a beautiful top hat. Oi! More compliments! What are you selling today? Take a look! Interesting, interesting. Uh, I can buy a <laughs> sentimental love novel, Barf. Um, great life of our beloved leader. Aspirin, cardigan, screwdriver. $105 for a screwdriver? 195 for ties? Are you serious? 75 bucks for chocolate? Jeez, what kind of society is this? Screw, man, I don't want none of your junk. None of that's worth it. What does this guy need? Yo. Oh, both kids are here. Hey. Um, do you need something? I have an issue, father. What do you want? Economics class have started, and we were given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. That's why I talk like this, because I'm schooled. I stopped by the bookstore, and they don't have these books. I heard I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has these books. You talk to wise people. Thinking about what I can do for you, and why you sound so ridiculous. Uh, oh, that's all I needed, so I'm not gonna talk to you about work. Uh, Martha! Oh, that's who Martha is. That's my daughter. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha, you idiot! Ask about the house or lost toy. Lost toy. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost Nera. Nera. It's nowhere to be found. Who's Nera? It's my doll! It's my favorite doll, Dad! Will you help me find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you last play with it? I'm scared of dolls. At home! Nara is too small to walk outside. Find her, please! Well, she shouldn't be walking outside because she's a frickin' doll and that would be very disturbing. Well, let's look around for the stupid doll. Uh... I need to go talk to this person, too. Uh, oops! No! 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 Yeah. Oh, well, he's leaving, so I should probably get up there. Um, I gotta start spying on some folk. When they're, like, going... Oh, here's your dumb doll right there. Here. Take your stupid doll. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. We've already had this conversation. What's your doll's name? 
I miss Nera so much. Will you find her? I already found her, you dummy. Here she is. Thanks, Dad. I thought of a great game. Want me to tell you all about it? Nera will be a miner married under rubble, and I'll kill her. I mean, I'll be the rescuer. What a game. Maybe you'd better play with your letter blocks, you creep. I'll build a coal mine out of letter blocks. Woo! Get up here. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? Okay, this is the apartment, right? Like, this is the one that they're in apartment one. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's get in there. He's not here, right? Like, he's gone? I think they're all gone. Let's get in here. Take a, just take a peek. Let's look around a little bit. Slouch hat. Well, he's taking a smoke. Oh, okay. We're finding some info about this guy. Oh, the more info we find, too, the more, um, if we profile him, the more monies we get, which I want some of them monies. Okay. I'm not even reading these. I'm just, like, going for it. Um, oh, we need to buy cameras. Let's buy... Let's buy four cameras. We're just going to be really well equipped. Wait, there's no place to put cameras in. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, good. He's not back. I thought that was him returning or something. Wait, did it not? Yeah, it went. Okay. Okay, that's just my wife. That's fine. My wife! Oh, we're gonna have so many camera. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get over here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Is it him? Nope. Oh, nope. We're fine. It's not them. I want to do this, but y'all in the way. Oh, this is probably going to be them, though. have to like book it real fast. Ooh, nice. Oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, can I check one more thing? Do I have time? Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, I don't have time. Run. No, run, 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 you fool. Hello. <laughs> Hello, friend. Woo. All right, uh, let's, uh, I was asking about books for Patrick. You're an educated person, class. Where can I find textbooks on economics? Uh, university gave my son a list of books to read, but none of the stores carry them. The uh, library is an option, but the line is always really long. Oh, the issue with the library is well known to me. It's not just the line. The library workers also have to like you. Otherwise, they'll send you away without any explanation. But I can... Oh, excuse me, that was a puke burp. I have books from when I worked for the counting bureau. I'd be happy if they helped your son study. <clears throat> Everyone should pursue a higher education. Too bad few people agree. You saved my son from death. Thank you, Klaus. And not only my son, but my wallet too was gonna die. Thank you. Um, all right, ask him about this. Yeah, nothing else to ask you about. Um, let's see if this guy's home right now. Maybe I can take a look in on him. Or is he arriving right now is my guess. Yeah. All right, well, let's go meet this person, though. Wait, come on. Hey, now. Uh, what kind of... Hello! We'll give him this kind of voice. Hello! I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl, the landlord. Well, I'm honored. I'm a Lotius Speck. A physician. <laughs> you must have heard about me the entire city, did. Um, 
Of, of course I've heard. Please don't praise me. I was just doing my duty. Just doing my duty, sir. Uh, that's, that's, that's great. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Oh, what, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. Physician, uh, you're very busy. Um, yeah, oh yeah, let's ask. Dearest Carl, I'm happy to see you. Uh, even though I just now met you, I'm gonna ask, act like this is the second time I met you. How are you doing? And how is the family? Everything's fine, thanks. I want to ask about... So much joy, that's a rare thing nowadays. I'm soothing myself, Locius, that's me. I'm here to talk about our Locius. You can't keep worrying about the whole world. The state takes care of us. About your neighbor. But no, I keep worrying about our neighbors. I mean, all people. You know, oh, uh, sorry, I got carried away. So what did you want to talk about again? About Klaus Scheimer from the apartment one. I just moved in here, dear. I haven't even met all my neighbors yet, so I'm sure they're all great people, and your uh, Strauss healer is a great man, too. Klaus Scheimer. Of course. It's only m m dear Mr. Schimmler smoked less. Smoking kills. <laughs> Hello? I just want to see what this is. Are you okay? Alosius, are you okay, sir? Like, you all right? Oh, busy, busy, busy patients fight over me. Are, are you a doctor? Oh, God, no, don't make him go in the spiel again. That's the real one. Don't you doubt it. I can cure even a healthy man. I say especially healthy. Any education? Are you kidding? I've dedicated my life to treating people. Your doubts hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you, dear? Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. Oh, he just <laughs> gave me some whiskey. Well, I just talked to you. What do you want? Hello? Aloysius' solitude. Do you want to talk? I have a request, a very private one. Molly is Alosius. Due to the demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24-7 is my civic duty. <laughs> duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me, but I'm a very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing, and every inch of my extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. Just sweating. And what can I do? Get you some deodorant? Your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know a lot about dealing with women, folk. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. She'd be a good woman to have in the bedroom and the kitchen. <laughs> Stereotypes, right? <sighs> All right. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Daily News, Dead Words, the Ministry of Truth is not. We've already read this. What is this? Uh, I read the. Wait, this is new. Young, pretty, socially active girl would like to meet a well to do man for a serious relationship. Call 237 451. Call, you'll be glad you did. Think we found ourselves a gal. Um, we need to talk to some people still, don't we? Yeah, we still have multiple people we need to talk to. Oh, what's that? She plays music. She plays music. New directive. Directive number 6043. It is illegal to use foreign currency, comrade. Let's talk with her. Hello. Um, oh yeah, let's ask about that saucepan. Hey, let me get your saucepan, girl. My wife wants to make a sweet compote, but we lost our saucepan while moving in. I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. Rock on. Okay, that's easy. Uh, it's a gift. It's a gift. Hello. Uh, that's about her husband. 
How's your husband doing? He looked upset. He doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. Klaus likes taking photos. Maybe he's a pervert. I don't know. Um, God, there's so many things to do now. Uh, we need to talk with Mark. I think that's the guy up here. Let's go see if he's around. Hopefully he's not sleeping. Hello, slow plum. Here he comes. I think he was. Oh, my throat's going. I've been so noisy. Blah, 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 blah. What do you want from the archivist? Wow, that is a lot of things. Don't need that. Um, this is a maybe. We do need to talk about this right now. I want to ask you about Klaus Scheimer. What do you want to know? Ooh. Interesting. Let's be truthful. Let's see where that gets. It's my duty. I've seen Klaus buying modeling kits at the store. They have no kids. I thought it was a gift. After that, I saw him wrap the box in paper and run home. I thought he bought it for himself. Thanks, Mark. You've been a big help. Buddy. What do you want from the archivist? Um, so ask about the latest news. Any news? The Ministry of Distribution is working out a plan for the next year. People say the quotes for higher education are being reduced. The most popular department is mining. Does your son study mining too? Yes, he's been sent to the mining college, but we managed to secure a place in the university for him. He'll be an engineer. You're a catch, hey? Uh, sure, why not? Do you have a dignified lady for the doctor in apartment two? What do you take me for? Do you think he this is a brothel? Fine, fuck off, man. Jerk, I have to go. Go ahead, go! Young people always have a lot to do. Alright, well at least I have a phone number I can call. Unless... Unless there's other people I can ask. Um, oh, let's ask the lady down here. Oh, there's that guy again. I wonder if he's got anything better. Uh, okay, she has nothing. Wait, is there a whole another room? A whole another room right there. Where's my son? I need to tell him I got his books. Um. Oh, I can give my wife the pot. Oh, let's see if uh, she knows any female folk for him before I call him an escort, which is pretty sure what's about to happen. Hey, yeah. You have a dignified lady for the doctor in apartment too. Well, I have a niece who's excellent marriage material. She's as smart and beautiful as I was in my youth. Alas, she doesn't live in our city. I can send her a telegram and invite her to my place. Let him come. I'll introduce her to him. Okay. Let me know if you have any problems. Yeah, 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 old lady. Yeah, old bat. Hello. How did I goof his voice up? Uh, already. Um, what what kind of voice should he have? Oh, kind of a Laird Cable guy. Ooh, boy. Any preference? Who would you like to meet? Anyone. I found a girlfriend for you. Who is she? Is she a goat? Uh, oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. I can't wait to meet her. She should visit her aunt soon. That's great. What a relief. I will soon no longer be lonely. Just me and my hand. All right, wife. I have a saucepan for you. What, Carl? Fa. Okay, yeah, I got you a saucepan. She always seems, when she says, what, Carl? She always seems like she's so mad. What did I do? Dude, she's kind of rude. Uh, cheer up, sweetheart. Now we have enough sugar. And I got you some books, kid. Man, I'm just taking care of everything. Taking care of business. 
Have you found anything about the... Oh, have you found anything about the books, Father? Here are your books. Wow, I'll get to work. I've never even dreamed of such wealth. I might not go to the rat's nest after all. To the library, I mean. It's full of rats, if you ca catch my what I'm saying. Okay, so now I got a profile, Klaus Scheimer. Let's profile him on the next episode. What you think, friends? The next episode, we profile Klaus Scheimer. Yes. We're ready to, to we're gonna profile Mr. Klaus Scheimer and get us some money for doing so, friends. Um, I need to start profiling everybody else too, because there's like a lot to work with here. So, Mr. Klaus Scheimer, I'm sorry that we are um, sending information about you to the state, but the thing is, we need money. Actually, I've got plenty of money right now, but this is my job. My job is to spy and send as much money er, much money. <laughs> I say that because I just saw I'm going to get $1,700 for uh, profiling this this guy. I need to I need to look good, you know, in the eyes of the state. I got to look good. All right. Oh, who's this? Someone named Sarah. Oh, is this the lady for uh, what's his face? Um, Aloysius or whatever the the fart. Hello, dear. Uh, hello? What do you want? Hello, I'm Sarah Watermarch, the Rannex niece. I'm here to meet the doctor. I have nowhere to stay, so I'll be living here. In which apartment does Aloysius live? Oh, no. I can't let you go to Aloysius yet. We need to talk first. Stay here. Where would I go? I have nowhere to stay. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh shucks. Oh no. Uh let's see if he's home. Okay, we need to let's have a conversation, sir. I don't really like the voice that I just gave her. Honestly, it's it kinda sucks. Um Let's just knock here. Oh oh hello. No, no, no. Talk to him, he's right there, you doof. Hello? Uh, mention the woman. Mention the woman at the door. There's a woman on your doorstep, which apparently is the middle of the street. She says she came to see you. Really? That's strange, but let's see. For those of you that haven't watched part one, that's the, the voice I gave the doctor for some reason. I don't know. Oh, look at them hitting it off. Oh, snap. Look, there's your auntie right there, too. Getting to watch some of that love making. Oh, oh wait, they're moving. She's moving in right now. But I feel like I should have been able to like. Um, oh, I gotta call the ministry. I should have been able to approve that. Hey, now I can put more um, cameras in there. I do need to do that. Let's see what is up with wife, and then we'll um, also call the ministry. What, Carl? Uh, oh, what she want? I talked with our neighbors, Carl. They're really nice. I was told a man in a top hat walks near the house occasionally. You can buy some things from him. What things? Antiques? Don't you have enough things? Listen to me first. You never listen to what I tell you. Don't get so steamed. I didn't want to offend you. You're the master of bringing people down. Sometimes I think I live with. What did you say about the traitor? They say he's selling new household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me the, the perfumed soap she bought from him last month. I don't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at our other useful items. Um, do you need the soap? We have an entire box of, of coal tar soup I bought with our ration cards. Oh, you're unbearable, Carl. A rope around your neck would serve you well. God, she sucks. Can we just turn her in? Go meet him and buy sweets for Martha. The poor thing hasn't had a treat for months. 
Sweets aren't a big deal. I'll get some. Take a deep breath. Good lord. How do I get rid of my wife? She sucks. Uh, candy for the wife. She deserves a treat. But does she? Like, does she? Really? Alright, let's just call the ministry. What do they want to do here? Uh, dial the number. Reported task. Ministry of Order, it's time to act, Comrade Carl. You must evict Klaus Scheimer. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, what about his wife? What will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. How can I evict Scheimer? Talk with Scheimer. We'd be fine with him moving out. It would be better if you report him when he violates our directive. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. Crap. Alright. Talk with you later. Dude helped me more than, like, anybody so far. I don't want to evict him. Yo, we need to talk, bud. We, we need to talk about this. Hello? What do you need? Tell me straight, Carl. Did you receive an assignment to spy on me? Whoops. Uh, uh, yup. Yeah, we did. You must be more careful, Comrade Klaus. I'll get right to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the building. What? They want to evict me from my apartment? That's unthinkable. If I could, I would have left this pokey hole a long time ago. Well, my problem shouldn't bother you. Thanks for the warning. What are you going to do? I mean, I don't have another choice but to offer help, apparently, so... I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? Because I'm not a dick. Um... Sure. I'm not asking out of curiosity. I want to help you. I'm being hunted. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop to think... To, to that tiny wooden booth near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. Without it, I'm stuck here. You understand? I don't know what that means. You should know such things, Carl. This is a document you need to either enter the strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway stations, ports, and roads with checkpoints are all closed to me. You won't believe me. I received a response from the Ministry. The documents were sent to the archives for the date data update. They said I would I could obtain them there. I went to the archives. They said there are no documents left. I spent a week in line to see an inspector about submitting a detection application. Sorry, I stuttered and I, I'm part robot. That's what happened. I shorted out. But two months later, I was told I'd used the wrong form for my application. And they were out of the one I needed. Damn it. Yeah. You mean the documents are lost in the archives? Yes. The documents are in the archive. Man, that, that was a lot that I just said, wasn't it? Dang, sorry. They say it's a ploy to drive visitors crazy. I don't know if that's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There's nothing we can do about the archives, but I'm going to keep talking for a long time. Um, let's see what I can do about your absentee certification. Uh, this guy works for the archives, so let me ask him. What do you want from the archivist? Um, let's see. Talk about how to help Shimer. Do you work in the archives, old man? No, I just call myself the archivist. It's for fun. What is it for you? You know this even without me. I, need <coughs> I just choked. Hang on. Woof. All right. I need your help. One good man can't obtain a document from the archives. Who are you talking about? The documents of good people aren't taken to the archives. Don't feed me a line. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's just tell the story. I'm talking about Scheimer from apartment one. He fell from grace with the state. They took his absentee certificate and now he's stuck here. I don't like him. He works in a tobacco shop, but has never given me tobacco for free. 
He behaves like this and speaks rudely because he's afraid. Help me, bring me his absentee certificate. They can't live without it, understand? Deal, but you owe me a bottle of whiskey. I want to be able to access for the confiscated documents without it. I have to be very drunk. What do you want from the archivist? Give him the whiskey. Um, you bring me the whiskey, I'll, and I'll help you to the documents. Here's the bottle. Keep quiet. Good choice. Okay, I'll get... Oh, hang on. Uh, okay, I'll I'll get the paper. Uh, come back later. That was me doing him, but now drunk. Okay, is it later? <laughs> what do you want from the archivist? Uh, okay. Okay, so we've got we've got some plan in order. Oh, there we go. He's he's like locking there. All right, all right. Um, now I guess I'm waiting for Laptop Boy to um. Did I say Laptop Boy? I meant um, Top Hat Boy. Let's see how things are going with this guy. Can I not talk to him? Come on. Hello! Oh, that's the... Nope. We're not talking, I guess. No talking anymore. Um, can I profile? Let's, uh, oh, new government directive received. Directive number 6044. Imported soda is prohibited, comrade. Um, let's see, uh, let's get to know this lady real quick. Hey, what's up? What's up, fam? Hello, dear. Or we won't. Can we profile... Let's see if we've got... Do we have info on anybody else? Um, enough to make a profile that would be, like, worthwhile. Nothing on our own family. For sure. Um, don't know much about him. Or her. We really just need to get into these apartments to learn anything about these two. We know a little bit about her. It's not a lot, but, like... If they're leaving soon, I want to at least get some money out of her first. Uh, Maria Scheimer lives in apartment number one. She is a Femali, and she is a literature teacher. Yep. She uh, drinks coffee, and she plays music. She's real jazzy. Oh, God, now what? I haven't gotten your stuff yet. Just chill. What, Carl? God, I'm, I'm gonna get it. What do you want now? What happened? Martha's sick, Carl. We have no medicine at home. Can you find some aspirin for our girl? I waited in line forever, only to find out I needed a prescription. Of course I'll find him. Do you find him? What do you mean? Do you have any news about Martha? No, it's just a fever, but I don't like how she feels. Great. All right, all right. I really need Top Hat Boy. Oh, he came back real quick. Do you have the stuff? What do you want from the archivist? Ooh, maybe he has aspirin. Do you have aspirin? Aspirin? No, I don't know anything about medicine. My wife deals with this. Uh... Oh, hmm... So he doesn't have our stuff yet, which we need. What is going on here? Yesterday, somebody at the archive said the railway that crosses the northern border is blocked. No good. All right, then. I have to go. Go ahead. Okay. Do you have aspirin? Guess not. Who might have aspirin? Yep, we know. Well, I gave him the dang... Whiskey already. How do I get the papers? Oh, maybe the doctor will have... Crap. Maybe the doctor will have some aspirin. 
Uh, ask about aspirin. Good day, Aloysius. Do you have any aspirin? Why does everybody like these pills? Can you obtain these medications? It breaks my heart to say this, but no. But I have no right to prescribe or receive medication. You have to go to the hospital or trade with those who don't need it. What a terrible doctor you are. Oh, okay, we just waited. We just needed the next day to be able to get the stuff. Oh, this top hat boy. What do you want from the archive? Just give us the stuff. Here's your paper. Those archive rats lost it. I found it. I said Marco, and it said Polo. I'm a genius. All right, we need to buy a few things. Um, we need aspirin and chocolate. Uh, aspirin. And then, um, what kind of chocolate candy? So there's chocolate bar, but then there's chocolate candy. Oh no, oh no, oh guys, 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 guys. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, don't sneeze, don't sneeze, don't sneeze. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right. Where's my. Where's my shitty wife at? Where's she at? There she is. What, Carl? Are you once again not satisfied with anything? I'm giving you the dang stuff you asked for. I just asked you to buy chocolate for a little one. I didn't even ask for a bar of strawberry perfume soap for myself. I bought the sweets, but they didn't have the soap you wanted. You bought sweets, Carl. Thank you. I'm full of worry these days. When I close my eyes, I see those those balls leading the previous building manager out by the something. I missed it. I hit spacebar too quick. It breaks my heart to think of you being in this place. Not really. I hate you. And I purge those thoughts from your mind. You'll die away before I do. Trust me. Um, I'm done with that. <laughs> I don't want. I just don't want to go on anymore. Uh, let's get her some aspirin. How's Martha? Have you found the aspirin, Carl? Martha's worse. Yes, take this. I hope this is just the flu. Everyone is sick these... I have hiccups, friends. Thank you. I think she'll feel better for a couple of days. Then she'll die. But at least her name's Martha. Wait, dude. Bro, 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 bro. Bro! Hold up, bruh. Hello. All right, let's give him those documents. I still can't believe you've decided to help us. Any news? Take your absentee certificate. You're a free person now. A free boy person. Incredible. You did it. Now nothing will prevent you from leaving. I'm afraid it's not good. My wife tried to buy train tickets, but they didn't sell them to her. Seems we've been blacklisted. We must find a way to leave the city and get as far away from it as we can. Or even leave the country. Can you help? Dang. I'll try to think of something. At least it's a blacklist and not a list of people to be executed. My gratitude knows no bounds. I started believing in people when I met you. I didn't believe people were real until we met. I thought they were all fake. Alright, um, we need to... <clears throat> we need to, to do something here. Anyone in there right now? Oh, Elosius has something for us to do. But first, let's dig up some debt, shall we? What can we find about the good doctor? Okay. I'm just like trying to keep an eye on him as much as I can. So he doesn't come barging in. Oh. We'll be profiling this guy before long. Oh, he's got a passport. She, it's the lady friend. Ah, wine. 
Uh oh, he coming, he coming. Oh, no, 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 get out, get out. Get out, get out. Ooh. Oh, dang, everybody's got something for me now. What do you want? Can I help you? We're so happy we decided to get married. Do you hear me? Alosius is getting married. Can you imagine? I bought cruise tickets to the southern shore for our honeymoon, all thanks to you. But I have a request. I wanted to make Sarah a gift, but I don't know her very well. I don't even know what she likes. Can you ask around about her? Okay. I owe you, and I'll definitely treat you to a slice of chicken innards pie. It's delicious. Somehow that horrible voice I came up with for him worked out perfectly. Yes, father. What happened to you? I need to talk with you, father. Yeah, that's why I'm talking to you right now. I met a nice girl and I want to ask her out. The first night of Lights Hope Fest uh, something will take place in a couple of days. Actors from the capital arrived too. Wait, who's this girl? Adria Gorchik. She's beautiful and smart. She likes going to the theater. I heard she wants to go to opening night. This is my chance, father. I don't have enough money for the tickets. How much? $550. This is big money. You know what? I'll give it to him because I, I'm just going to steal some stuff and sell it because it looks like I can. Thanks, Father. You're the best. Pay 20 for flowers? Let's just give him advice. Find the time to go to the library. Look for the Capital News uh, something and yeah. Read uh, what educated people have written about this play if you want to impress your new friend. Or you'll learn nothing. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Pope. What, Carl? Martha feels worse, Carl. The aspirin didn't help. She needs a doctor. Find a doctor. Don't you want to take Martha to the doctor? The we visited her doctor already. He said give her her aspirin and clean her nose with dish soap. With soap, Carl. How can I clean a kid's nose with soap? Find a good doctor for her daughter. God, she sucks. Guess I'll go talk to the only doctor. Gathering info. Uh, let's go with Martha's illness. Lucius, my daughter is sick. Can you examine her? Of course I'll examine her. It's my duty. I'm a doctor. Cool. Let's also ask about gathering info. He asked me to find out info about Sarah. She says she lo she's a good cook. All you need to do is find us that will stop by for dinner. In any case, I made my decision, Carl. I'd be very grateful if you helped me with my wedding. Sarah needs a veil. Well, what am I supposed to do for that? Ask me to find a veil. Oh my god. Hmm. Things are just getting more and more complicated, friends. Oh, he's right there, huh? He's right there. Let's go ask her real quick. Since it's her niece, maybe uh, she will have some. Do you have a veil? A veil? That's a strange request. Aren't you already married? It's for Alosius. He wants to marry Sarah. I heard. I still haven't. I still have the veil from my wedding with Merrick, but it's a souvenir. Ah, yeah, let's just do it. It's important to Alosius. He's an old bachelor, and he's finally decided. Uh, as a state representative, I should. Sub I support the creation of a new social unit. Okay, one pack of strong black tea would be an even trade. Tea? Where the frick am I going to get tea? Do you have any tea? <sighs> God. Um. Um. Okay. Man, this is just getting more and more complicated. I don't know, man. And I'm... I'm running out of time to get this guy out of here. I've only got 216 hours left. Okay, so I need to find black tea. Where do I find black tea? Would she happen to have black tea? Whack, Carl! Oh, she's gonna make one, okay. Rock on, dude. That works. Then I don't have to get tea. 
Is that her version of making a veil right here? Is she gonna let me know? I I don't know. I don't know. Who are you talking to, sir? I I don't know what else to do right now. I mean, I do need to get and put some um, stuff in there, but I gotta find a way to get him out, and I don't know how to do it. Obtain cr cruise tickets. How am I gonna do that? Uh oh. What you got, sir? New government directive received. Directive number 6045. It is illegal to wear or sell jeans, comrade. It's weird. It's real weird. Hello. Uh, let's see. Ask about the results of the exam. What's wrong with my daughter? I don't want to scare you, but Martha isn't well. She has Bulbasaur rails in the lower half of both lungs. She needs antibodies ASAP, and as much as I love domestic medicine, she needs the imported stuff. Local medication will only make it worse, and it's already serious. Delays could result in a fatality. It's 10000 per course. Sorry, but I couldn't find anything cheaper. Quotes, prescriptions, regulations. I'm risking a lot to help your baby. Dang. Man, I'm helping you with your dang freaking wedding. <sighs> Daily News Theater Scandal. The first evening performance of the capital play on Love and Peace resulted in a scandal. Part of the audience left before the end. Plays should portray real people, not silly stories that have nothing to do with reality, said Bruno Rouse, head of Plant Number no. One's Recreation Department. The theater administration promised to shut down the play and ensure future plays don't upset the workers. Once every three years, great actors come to our Nowheresville and receive a cold welcome on Love and Peace. The latest play to premiere at our local theater was shut down when raging miners refused to watch the love story. It's hard to blame them. There's no place for feelings than the life of a common laborer. Just work. Quar that was a little bit of a burp. Quarrels and grocery store lines. But comrades, let not let's not allow our slavery to go away. Our aesthetic sensitivity what? To take away our aesthetic sensitivity. That was a lot. Go to the theater. Who will work then? The country needs our labor, not shows. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Oops, nope, nope, nope. Just need to talk to her. Hey lady, can I can we chat? Hmm. Ah, man. So I need money, big time. So next time bro's here, I'm gonna sell anything I can find. Um... Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. All right, let's get this veil taken care of. This veil business. What, Carl? Did you make the veil, honey? Here, I hope they like it. Okay. Uh, I had a, if I had a choice, it'd be a desire to marry you. And what did you choose? <laughs> Carl broken TV. Our TV broke. Uh, take care of the breakage, please, or call a repairman. You're a jack of all trades. You're a real jack off of all trades, Carl. What do I need to fix it? Um, I need, like, a soldering thing. Is that... There we go. Let's just fix it. Get out of the way, wife. There's our boy. I'm gonna go sell some of my stuff. My audio just got all jacked up for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's coming through the thing with you, but to me it sounds super jacked up. 
Um, yeah, let's sell... Oh, man, this isn't going to get me anything. That sucks. Dang. Crud, crud, crud. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't do a whole lot, did it? Alright, well... Let's talk to him. Let's get him his stupid veil. Hello! Alright, let's give him the stupid veil. It's White and Lacey. Here, what do you think? She's wonderful, thank you. I respected you before, too. But now I'll worship you and make my colleagues and acquaintances at the ministry just like you. Well, that got me a lot of points, but whatever. Why are they all thinking about him? That's weird. What are they doing? Why is everyone thinking about him? It's weird. Is everyone like going? Is that where is the wedding down here or something? Is that what's about to happen? Whatever. Yeah, maybe. Why are they all thinking of him? That's weird. I don't like that much. Oh, what's going on over here? What's going on with my desk right now? Hmm. Nothing, I guess. Time to sell everything we can. This is weirding me out a little bit. Like, what? I don't know, man. Is he, like, skipping town on her, maybe? Is that what's happening? Oh, this is the perfect chance. Let's get up there and uh, see what's going on. She's down here, right? Now my kid wants something. A sword? Yikes. Uh-oh! Out! All right, I guess we'll just see what my kid needs. Yes, father. What happened? Are you in trouble at the university? Yes, dad. The dean has ordered us to take part in another fundraiser. It's a lot of money, and I have no idea where to get it. How much? 7500 No! What? Are they crazy? Are people don't have that kind of money? If things continue to go like this, we'll have no one left to teach. But perhaps that's the intent. We'll see what we can do. Worst case scenario, you'll get a job. The country needs miners. Very funny, Dad. Thanks a lot. Martha's sick, Patrick. We need a lot of money to save her. And who knows how long it will take. A time might come when we need more and more money, which is actually right now. So, yeah, we do. We do. We do need more and more money. So why did he leave and nobody else left? Oh, they're drinking. Oh, oh, oh. He's coming. 
Was that supposed to be like the wedding or something? That's what I'm confused about. Dang. On the brink of expulsion. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, that's for sure. Oh god, now what with her? What, Carl? Um... What do you want? $700 for utility bills. Well, we gotta pay our utilities. I mean, that's... Yeah. Oh, man. We can't help him. Or our kid's gonna die. Oh, whoa! What just happened? What? Is he dead? What the hell? What just happened? Um. Yeah. What? What just happened? New government directive received. It's illegal to possess foreign music, comrade. What the hell? What the age? Yeah, excuse me. What happened to the doctor? They were all down there. He left, he came back, and then he just died. Hello, dear. Yeah, what happened? Aloysius is dead. My sweetie pie. My heart is forever broken. Mm-hmm. I am very suspicious of this. I'm highly suspicious. Son of a... Huh. I've got to figure... There's got to be something... All right, let's let's sell some stuff from for for this guy real quick. God, she always wants things. Why are wives so needy? <laughs> um, sell, sell, sell. I'm selling. Even our toothpaste had to be sold. This is ridiculous. Oh, I did not mean to sell my thing. Oh, that's interesting though. That I can sell. I could buy those and sell them. I could buy these with reputation points and sell them for money. Okay, okay. Thought process. That might get me some money. That might get me some money. Let's see what my wife needs though and then maybe we'll call this an episode, but that sure does give me an idea, friends. What, Carl? What happened now? If you can't agree with the doctor, Carl, I'll take Martha to the doctor. Our personal line suggested this. He's a professor. Don't panic, Anna. This is no ordinary flu. This has something else. I can feel it in my bones. It's COVID-19. Yeah, maybe. Go ahead and take her to the dang doctor, bro. Whatever. There's something fishy going on. I need her to get out of that apartment so I can... I I need to search this apartment and see if, like, she's got poison or something in there. Because I think, I think she did something. I think somebody offed... Somebody offed the doctor. And I, I'm ready to find out who. So. Um... Friends... On the next episode, we're going to discover who killed our doctor. Let's find out if his, uh, his new bride is the one to poison him. Hmm. Hmm. We're in here looking. We're looking for any kind of something we can use against her. 
It might end up just robbing her. I don't know. <laughs> um, hey, if you are new um, to this, what I'm doing, I'm playing Beholder. This is a game where we work for the state. Oh. We work for the state. We're spying on our tenants in the um, apartment building that we manage. And there was a doctor living here. And he did. Oh, we're stealing that. She did poison him. Uh-oh. Is she back? That's not her yet. So there's arsenic there. So she was the one to poison him. For sure. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to steal... <gasps> oh, she caught me. Oh no, oh no, I got caught. You poisoned the doctor. We gotta get out of here. We need to, but we need to steal those cruise tickets because we need those tickets. We gotta get those cruise tickets and then we need to get her kicked out of here because she obviously poisoned the doctor. Um, we're going to profile her really quick and at least get some money out of there. I goofed because I was not paying attention. Either I didn't see her come off the bus or she didn't come off the bus. She came off of something else. I'm not sure. Um, but I goofed that hard, hard. All right. She's in apartment number, I think that's number two, right? Yeah. Female. Uh-huh. Kindergarten teacher. So we're profiling her. Yeah. Okay, now that she's getting out of there. We gotta get in there quick. It's gotta be something... I need to plant something on her, but I, I do need those, uh, I need those cruise tickets. Or there's gotta be something in here, maybe that she's... Like, I need some sort of dirt on her. Just leaving. I wonder if there's a way. There's gotta be a way I can blackmail her or something. Otherwise, I can try to steal those and then I'll plant something on her and get her arrested. That's my thought. Um, let's see. What directives do we have right now? Um uh, jeans, foreign music, can't cry. Uh, soda, foreign currency, books by Paul Williams, apples, any of those things. Any of those things, maybe we can... Oh, here we go, here we go. Hey, bud, I need to buy some stuff. I need to buy stuff and uh, I need to get rid of somebody here. What do we got here? A record of patriotic songs? That is way too much money. I'm not spending that much. Oh, boy. Um... Jeans, that's too much money. Apples. We can get her out of there with some apples, that's for sure. Alright, let's, uh... We're gonna plant an apple on this woman. And that's how we're gonna get rid of her. She's sleeping right now. All right. Let's see what the wife has to say right now. Um, now what's her problem? What happened? 
Um, he's a child something. Things are bad. Uh, he said it's pneumonia with several side effects. She has a terrible infection in her lungs. Damn. Damn. Where did that come from? I don't know. Maybe it's because we live in this basement, Carl. Maybe because of the nearby mines. Well, what should I do? She won't need to be under constant care of a doctor. They perform any tests on children and use rare antibiotics. Martha might even need surgery. The professor said he'd do everything for $15,000. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. There's no way we're going to get that much money. Oh, boy. Yeah, we already did that. Okay. Uh... Well, what else do you want? Why is there... Why do you have more? No, we don't have the money. We don't have the money. We don't have $15,000. Learn about the cure. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. $500 for groceries. Well, that we can do. Okay. But that's... That's it. That's all we can... God dang. Well, I've got an idea. What if, so the next time this woman's out, we'll plant the apples, we'll steal the tickets, we'll steal some other stuff, and then we're gonna report her to the, the cops and get her out of there. That's what we're gonna do. We need those cruise tickets for him, for this family, to get them out of here. Um, until then, what do we do? We also do need to start planning some um, some stuff in there. We need to learn a little bit more about them. Oh, he's thinking about a gun, or he's got a gun. Interesting. Okay, where are you going? Okay, good. She's leaving. Perfect. This is perfect. New government directive. Um, let's see what what's the new directive. Um, is it illegal to possess fish? <laughs> we gotta get those tickets. I think this is where they were, or was it the bookcase? This is it, yes. Yes, we are stealing them. What else could we steal here? Um... Anything we can steal. I think that might be worth something. All right, let's, uh, we're gonna plant the apple, like, right here. And hope this is one of the first things they check. Let's take that. Oh no! Oh no, I just got caught stealing. Oh no. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and bribe bribe them. I'm doing my job. <laughs> you can go for now. How did I just get caught? Dang, I just I stole too much, I guess. <laughs> that did you guys hear me freak out? I was like, oh no. Alright, let's uh let's hurry up and get down here. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Well, now I'm afraid this isn't gonna work. Now I'm scared that it won't work. Okay, now we gotta, um... We gotta write a report, and we gotta get rid of this, this lady. Apartment 2. Um, what was the directive about the apples? Um, this was... <laughs> directive 6039. For... The the first. Oh crap, no, I still have to look at it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I goofed it, I goofed up. I still have to be able to look and see it. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm gonna get them out of here first, if I can. Are they home right now? I forgot, I have to, I have to plant those, but then I have to also like, literally look at them in the place. Okay. 
so I can document that she has something illegal. Oh, man. <laughs> Oof. These are close calls. Oh, look. An illegal object. There we go. Let's get out of here. Hey. Hey. No, we, I, got your, I got your thing. We got to get you out of here. We got cruise tickets. You are on two tickets. All you need... Uh, all the info you need is on them. Now leave the country. You've saved us. Take this money. I hope it'll cover at least some of your expenses. I need money, Klaus. That's not a lot. Nonsense. I'll contact you once my wife and I are safe. My gratitude knows no bounds. Give this to your daughter. A teddy bear. Oh. Well, we've got $9,000. Unfortunately, we need way, way, way more than that. Um. Okay, we gotta get down here quickly. And we're getting them to leave, which is good. So that's what we needed for the uh, government. So maybe that will help me. But I got to get her out of here. So let's write a report on... What's her fart? Um, Sarah, apartment 2. Violated 6039. Uh, from the first... The apples. Let's get her out of here. And hope they don't catch me and figured out that I'm the one that did it. Uh, uh oh, where are you going? No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, thank God. Well, at least I got rid of most of the evidence already, so that part's good. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and just call into the ministry real quick <laughs> while this is all going on. Dial the number. Report a task. Ministry of Order, you succeeded at evicting Klaus Scheimer, but you did it without due respect. This is a matter of life and death, do you understand? Your next task is to place propaganda banners in your house. There is unrest in the city. Stay alert, Comrade Carl. Okay, well, I got some of that. Oh, why is everybody going outside? What's going on now? What's er what, what's going on here? Why is everybody upset? Hang three banners in the hallways. Oh, she's getting beat. Oh, dang, look at all these police. I'll just be uh, up here placing some propaganda. Oh my god! What is. Oh no! <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. This is totally fine, right? Everything's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh boy. Every th Look at all these repairs I got to make and I don't have any Oh crap. Uh Ministry of Order. There's unrest in the city. It's dangerous to go outside. Stay calm and repair anything in the house that's broken. You have two days. Fudge. Dang, man. Now how am I going to get money for... Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. This sucks. How am I supposed to do this? And, and how am I supposed to save my daughter? I need... I need 5,000 more dollars. How's that even gonna work? Oh, man. This sucks. Oh, God. And I have to pay $2,000 in bills. Crap. So now I need $6,000. <laughs> this is my daughter's basically just gonna die so that's great 
Perfect. Uh, this is fantastic, friends. Fantastic. We have two tenants, <laughs> and they live in the same house. I'm getting all kinds of info on this boy, though. Oop, new government directive. What do we got now, friends? What do we got now? Um, directive number 6049. War talk is prohibited, comrade. Pair using what this? Uh, what do I need for this one? Another toolbox. Oh boy. I might have to take some chances in a second here. Like some hardcore chances if I want my daughter to live. Which I do. I think it would be pretty cool if my daughter didn't die. You know? Be pretty sweet. New message received. Now what? Lease any apartment. <laughs> Lease anything. Just do something. Oh boy. Daily news, breaking news. Several hours ago, a series of explosions took place at the convenience goods storage facility on Khrushchev Street. No one was killed, but 15 were injured. The situation is under control, so there's no reason to panic. Now for the weather. Tomorrow, look for winds from the north, a high of 60 degrees and light showers. The Voice of Truth. Comrades, we have spoken, and spoken loud. The whole city heard. The explosions took place at the plant where state officials were planning to introduce 14-hour shifts. The government won't listen to peaceful voices, so let it hear our cries of war. We will force them to respect the rights of workers. If they continue with their plans, we'll turn the ministry to rubble. All right, then. Dang, everything costs money, bruh. Okay, let's move someone in. Uh, needs an apartment, it's life or death. Student looking to rent a room. Um, sure, okay. Government directive is illegal to possess and use weapons. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm hoping Top Hat Man comes by fairly soon. That would be cool. Um, so I've got everything prepared. Um, oh, I got to get that teddy bear to my little girl, wherever the heck she is right now. I don't know where she is, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. Um, she should still be alive, at least. Yeah, what's up with this lady here? Eh, eh, eh. I can see it just fine, I guess. I don't need to peek through the door right now. Where is my wife and daughter? Honestly, it's... I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, there she, there's the daughter. Hey, what's up? Oh, they were hiding. Huh? Will you play with me? Not now. Here, have it. I brought you something, love. Mr. Klaus from, uh, from apartment one. It looks like I. Apartment I gave it to you, not him. I've been dreaming about having a bear like this. Let's go thank him. Uh, he's dead. They left today. They went on a cruise. Will we get to the sea, Dad? Sure, honey, I promise. Sure, sure. All right, so we finished that, but, like, uh, that's it. Okay, we need $1,500. <sighs> okay, um, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Um... I need the top hat guy. I need the top hat guy. That's all I can think of doing is I need the top hat guy. Um. Uh, 
Also, let's see. Spend money to make money, right? Let's let's repair this one. Let's get someone moved in and let's try to profile people. Flu de Brook Bridge. Um, because then if I start profiling some people, then I can get some money out of it, right? That makes sense. We need money. It only makes sense I do that. I need to profile everybody right now. Let's talk to this person. Till top oh, there's top hat guy. Hang on. Can I talk to you first? Nope. You don't want to talk to me yet. Get over here. Alright. Um, let's trade. Let's sell what I can. Oh god, none of this is worth like anything. Son of a uh, oh, what? Okay, she doesn't sleep. Got it. So this is what I want to know. If I buy this, how much can I sell this for to him? $500. Okay. It's not going to be enough, but I could certainly freaking try to get as many as I can. I mean, it'll get me somewhere, so maybe, you know, it's a start. It's a start. Um, all right, we'll leave it at that for now. Um, we'll go profile who we can. Um, how much do we info do we have on these two? Not a lot, not a lot. Um, man, I really could get into that apartment. That would be great. God, I got like nothing on her. Oh, I'm getting some stuff on her though. All right. Wait, that's an illegal thing, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Dang. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we can find out anything more about her. See if we can get her out of here. Hello, I'm Carl, the landlord. Go ahead, Noel. Nice to meet you. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. Um, let's uh, let's ask about the insomnia. Are you okay, Dora? Can't sleep. Am I interrupting something? Oh no, just asking. I do have trouble sleeping. As soon as I close my eyes, I start thinking of. Terrible things like, uh, like the last Airbender movie and all the nightmares. It was so bad. Uh, find out the reason. Minus 300 reputation points. Uh, I don't know. Nope, I don't really care enough about that. I need those points. What do you want? Uh, let's ask about some other things. Um, the news. What's new? Let's have nothing to tell you. I don't know anybody here. I got cold on my first day. Previous ad, where did you come from? Who cares, Rick? For all that matters, I'm here now. I like it here. It's less crowded than the capital, and everyone has a job. Do you like it here? Uh, yeah. See, we have a lot in common. All right, fine. Bye. Dang. Um... Is there anything left in my place that I can sell to uh, our, our dude over here? Anything at all? Because we're going to have to. Take it all. I'm going to have to sell everything I've got. Ah, oh, man. We, I think we've pretty much sold everything already. Um... New message received. All right. Dang. Hang on. Let's go sell this real quick. Oh, who is this person? Oh, hang on, bro. Trade. What are you selling today? All that. Uh, sell, 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 sell. God, I got like nothing. Um. Yeah, who's this guy here? George Danton. Daily news. Life is great. 
Leo Gzizdek. Leo Gzizdek is the winner of the annual labor lottery. He has faithfully served his country for 20 years without a single violation. He is the pride of the state. The prize this year is $100,000. Remember, every citizen with more than 15 years of work experience can be part of the lottery. Blah, 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 blah. I quit. People with more than 15 years of work experience can take part in the lottery. What does that tell us? That Leo and his companions in misfortune spent decades working hard and paying crazy amounts of money to the labor lottery fund. Each of them could have saved $40,000 over the course of 20 years. Where did the rest of that money go? Can the lottery administration tell us that? Probably not. What do you want, sir? George Danton. Hello, Carl. Who are you? A new tenant? I know everything about... Uh, I know everyone that lives in the building, but this is the first time I've seen you. Uh, we don't know each other, but I hope we can become friends. My name is George Danton. How can I help you, sir? I made inquiries, Carl. I think you're a decent man who can be trusted. After that, I want you to do me a simple but important favor. What should I do? A young man, full fledal brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
This is what you want, Carl. Buy us a radio. Are you a manager or not? God, I always hear the news over the phone. I'm not going to buy you a dang radio right now. No, you really, you want me to spend the money on a radio instead of our kid being able to live. Jesus. Um, let's see, if I can profile a few people, maybe I'll get just enough money. Who can we profile? Who do we have enough on? Let's see what we can get. Uh, Mark, an apartment, uh, three, male, he's with Rosa, he is the archivist, archive employee, yep, okay, um, I don't think we have enough on anyone else really to profile, do we? Um, wait, who just left? Who just left? <gasps> Fluga flag of Fluga flash. Oh, I've got enough money. I've got enough money. Let's save our daughter. And that's gonna be all. What, Carl? Um, and I have the money. Oh, Carl, thank God. I'm on my way to the doctors to get the medicine. Yeah, get out of there. Ooh, I got a lot of uh, rep points for that. That's good. Oh, now what? Oh, good lord. Pick up the phone. Accept a private call. Hello, this is Carl Stein. With who am I talking? Uh... You've heard about the National Labor Lottery, right? Its winner, Leo Gvidzik, is looking for a place to stay. We want you to give refuge to this lucky man. What good will do that? Will that do you? Who are you? We're well wishers. He'll soon face a thousand temptations. Bandits and frauds will be waiting for him around every corner. We want to help. After he moves in, you must convince him to invest his winnings in our prod. Our horns and hooves trust benefits the science of breeding and caring for farm animals. We help farmers sell every part of an animal carcass. They don't waste a thing. We send the meat to the stores and the skins to the shoemakers. And we use the rest for preparing our proprietary jellied meat. Jellied meat. Do you not like jellied meat? How can one say, consider this a warning, Carl. If somebody stands in our way, he becomes jellied meat himself. Soon our jellied meat will become a national good. All you need to do is convince Leo Gizzardabadabadik that the future belongs to our jellied meat. Gizzardabadabadik? Yes. But who thinks up such names? It's a real tongue twister. Guys. Persuade him to invest money in the Horns and Hoofs Trust. If you do that, we'll give you a generous portion of what he gives us. All right, so Leo Gzibbidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabid
Well, where'd she go? I don't see her. Well, I've got... Um, let's see what we can do for her now. Now that we have reputation points to spend. I don't know why, but I feel like I can trust you. Thing is, I'm terrified of my ex-husband. He's an awful man, Carl. Why? Did he mistreat you? If constant doctor visits due to battering is considered being mistreated, then yes. Oh, that sucks. Why did you marry him? My parents forced me to. Their uh, goal in life was to make sure their daughter was uh, taken care of. That sounds horrible. It really does. No, the worst part was that every time I was hospitalized with yet another broken bone, they took his side. You asked for this. You deserve this. It's your fault, and so on. It took me several years to build up the courage to escape, but I and finally did it, and now I'm in hiding. Do you think he'll come after you? I'm positive. He considered me his property, and he's really touchy when it comes to his stuff. The problem is he knows people from the Ministry of Migration. I'm afraid he'll find out I'm here, and then he'll come and break me like a doll. I'll do my best to prevent this. You're a good man, Carl. Yeah, like, what can I do? Um, I think you need to get some rest. Do you have a sleeping aid? No, I haven't considered a sleeping aid. I'll try to find one for you. You'll see what a difference a good night's rest can make. Thanks, I didn't expect any help. So I'm supposed to help her. Let's see what my wife has to say about our kid. What, Carl? Um, yeah, let's see. Here's the medicine, Carl. The doctor says Martha will feel better soon. Then she'll have to get some lab tests done and continue her treatment. What else did he say? He said finding money for Martha's treatment was a heroic deed, and we managed to do it. We also have to make sure she's well-fed and warm. Bring her apples, please. And apples are prohibited. So what? Confiscate one from someone and bring it home. Just one. Martha needs vitamins, Carl. Oh, my God. All right. Where is our kid? Is she down here somewhere? Where are you? Hello? Hello? Oh, she's asleep. All right. Where's the one dude? Is he still in there? Hmm. Yeah, he's in there, all right. Man, I don't have the money to do any of this stuff, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, shucks. Hmm. Hmm. It's gotta be something. I'm trying to think of, um, I just, I don't have the money to really pull off, like, anything right now. So what can I do? What is that? A heater? I'm assuming I'm going to end up buying that eventually. The radio. Yeah, like, that's going to happen. There's all those cameras I sold. The sleeping pills, which I can't afford. I can't even buy an apple. Man, I can't do anything. Oh, man. Man, man, man. Um. Wait. Is he going to leave? If this guy's leaving. Oh, yeah, I'm going in. This could be good, guys. This could be good. We'll see what this guy's up to. He's up to something. I know it. We just gotta keep an eye and make sure that he doesn't uh, sneak up. If nothing else, we'll at least... Uh, God, I'm not going to be able to pay a bill. We'll at least learn something and be able to profile him. I just got to make sure he doesn't... Oh, crap. Here he comes. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get out. 
Get out! Man, I was sure I'd find something better. Hmm. New government directive. Directive number 6053. It is illegal to wear a blue tie, comrade. Okay, she's leaving, so I can get into her place. And we'll learn about her, then maybe we can profile her and get some money. Oh, man. Please give me something to work with, guys. I need something. Alright, she's got like a little love diary. Love diary. Oh no. A legal object found. 80s music. Ah, uh, the phone's ringing, but I don't want to answer it right now. I'm busy. Dang it. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna have to just do it. Oh, he's leaving. Mm, I wonder if it's that Danton guy. All right. What do you want? Pick up the phone. It's a private call. Good afternoon, Carl. This is George Danton. Where did you take my number? What do you mean, where did I take it? I, I, I'm call I didn't take it anywhere. I'm just right. I wrote it down. And I'm calling you. Anyway, our unit has friends everywhere. All I want from you is an explanation about which unit you're discussing. I have a family. I must know what you're getting me into. We're trying to make the world a better place, Carl. It's impossible with the current government. As you know, the current government is unwilling to change. What's your unit's name? The Unit of Confident Revolutionists? The New Tomorrow Movement. Why are you being sarcastic, Carl? We might have become friends. You can earn the money you so desperately need for your family. What if I refuse to deal with you and report you to the Quarter? I'm afraid your refusal can lead to unpleasant consequences for both of us. I repeat, we have friends everywhere. <laughs> I knew it. There is something behind your chatter about a better tomorrow. One can fry eggs without breaking them. No, you can't. You have kids, and therefore you must know what it means to sacrifice yourself for the sake of future generations. Will you offer to sacrifice someone else? Me, for example? Not necessarily, Carl. You just need to agree to be ready to help our movement. I really don't have a choice. What do you want from me? Find an apartment in your wonderful building for our faithful comrade. His name is Antoine Grubik. He will stay in the building for about a week. Um, yeah, let's, uh, da, 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 da. oh, we get $3,000, okay. That's all I wanna know and we'll just, we'll do it. Okay, that guy's out of there already. Dang, I could have uh, learned more about him, but that failed. Oh, please don't be her yet. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, dang, it is. Whoops! Only one more thing to, to check with her, and then I'll have searched all of her stuff. Daily news! Violation of order! Several unidentified individuals dressed in white robes sunk into the, uh, snuck into the university and threatened to cover the blackboard with words that would tarnish the dignity of Miroslav Pepper. Professor Pepper resigned and was rushed to the hospital. Eleven people were reportedly killed during the arrests. The Voice of Truth. Professor Pepper, who is infamous for committing bribery and other dirty deeds, has finally done something useful. Namely, he admitted to impeding the education of our young people instead of promoting it. Shame on the person that sends our students to war. What were the doctors doing in the university? What were they doing? Eh? Eh? Alright, we've got a lot of people we need to move in, and we got no money to uh, repair these things. However, I could get her evicted. But would that actually get me any money? It would at least get me points there. 
Um, and I wouldn't have to pay money to get rid of her, but... You know, if I just steal the illegal item and sell it, that would get me a lot of money. I think maybe that's what I should do. I think we'll do that. We'll try to steal just the one thing, though. Yeah, yeah. So the next time she's out of there, we're going to go snatch it and hope that we don't get caught. <laughs> Oof. All right. And then I need to also search in here and then um, write up a profile on her. Oh, I need to get her her meds. I, I don't think I... I was supposed to give her medicine, right? Or something? Or are we to just the apples right now? Um... Okay. Oh, boy. Daddy, when people run out of space for the dead, what will they do with the bodies? Pile them in the streets? No, baby, there's not enough room for everyone. Then how come we don't have enough land to grow food? Go read a book, Martha. You need to study. You're going to school next year. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Okay, here she goes. We'll just casually stand in the hallway. La da 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 da. <laughs> okay, now where did we find the '80s music? Was it in the piano thing? Got info on all this stuff. Shoot. Get out. Phew. Dang it, not quick enough. Mm-hmm. I wanna say it's was in one of these two. But we've gotta get it somehow. So tomorrow we've oh crap. We're not gonna be able to get that fruit in time. Pretty sure my kid's gonna die. <laughs> Is that, is she gonna die without the fruit? Or is it just like, it was recommended to get her some fruit? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I've got enough, let's profile our friend up here. But we're not gonna report her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If only I had gotten that music from her already. Okay, so she's in apartment one. She is Dora Noel. Apartment number one. A girl with sad eyes. She is a music teacher who is alone. And we know a lot about her. There we go. That's a lot of money. Can we get the apple now? Would that work? I guess not. Well, we can get her, her. Um, we can get those sleeping pills at least. Ooh, if I steal the 80s music, that might really get us some um, money. Um, where are those sleeping pills? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. You wait there, sir. Oh, I'm totally gonna get it. I'm totally gonna get it. You wait. You wait. Because we're gonna get it. We're getting the illegal stuff. All right. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, sure. Hold on, man. Let's trade in these illegal, illegal supplies. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Look at that. 
All right, now we can uh, now we can take care of some stuff. Yes, father. I can't bear it, dad. Another day in the mind, and I'll hang myself. And what do you suggest? I want to leave the country, Dad. If I stay here, I'll eventually cease to be human. I can't feel myself becoming dumber and dumber every day. And there's no way I'll ever get out of this. And where are you going? One of my co-workers told me they need my profile experts in, um, North Berea. A little on the nose there, guys. <laughs> uh, North, are you sure it's not South? Isn't it the same? Poor little miner. Too bad they didn't teach you geography at the university. North and South Berea are two different planets. It's not funny, Dad. Okay, how much do you need? A lot, Dad. 10,000. Nope. 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 That is a big old no, friends. It's a big old no. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get the people in that we need to get in. Wait, did I? Yeah, I've got some cameras in there already, I think. Uh, we need to get him in there, and we need to get, um, him in there. We've got so many people that we gotta move in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do we got here? Pick up the phone, accept a private call. Thanks, Carl. I'm um, sending the money to account. Please help Grubik the best you can. He's doing an important thing. Help us and spy. Do you understand me? Okay. Oh, dang. We got some monies now. All right, guys. I think uh, I think we good right now. I think we good. Um, Let's call this a day. Um, thank you so much for, for everything that you guys have um, done. And by done, I mean just like watching this because that's totally cool. And um, I appreciate you. I appreciate um, how you smell. And um, um, I appreciate your, um, your hard work that you do every day. And that you're alive and well. I hope you're well. If you're not well... I would love to to try to help you be well if that was a thing that I was capable of doing because you're cool and I like you you're you're all very swell you're swell folks um, all right friends uh, if you did enjoy this video please like comment subscribe share and swear swear on your best friend's dog um, I don't know what, what that means, but like, you know, take what you will from that. And, um, have a good day. We'll see you next time.